Hello there everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mo Clever. And right now we're taking a look at all the infrastructure that we can make within the country and that infrastructure that we're currently kind of constructing in the places where we do want to build it, especially in the south. But regardless, we've got some comms to go through, but first, let's go ahead and create some more states. Because Wyoming needs to be a normal state of the United States of America. As it should be. And of course we're extending the little institution of what we call involuntary servitude in which no one gets paid and they basically do things against their will because we're still within the first two minutes of the video. But regardless, you know, it is what it is, you know. States' rights and whatnot, right? Oh, actually, Utah. Home of the Mo home, not Horm, but Home of the Mormons, which removes in about 30-some years, not bad. And you know what they like in Utah? Unpaid laborers. That is what we're going to call it, as well as Commodore Perry's expedition. The Far East remains an enigma, and one which is beyond the reach of the most Western powers due to the enforced seclusion of China and the good old Japanese. While China is largely spoken for, Japan remains a potential target for American influence to expand. If we are to be taken seriously as a world power, we must consider sending a force to negotiate for trade rights with the Japanese. Under the threat of military force, if necessary. No, I did this before. I played as America and HPM, I think, before. And this didn't go so well for us, but thank you very much. Commodore successful. Commodore Barry's returned from his mission to Japan with a treaty in hand. We have gained a numerous trade concessions, but more importantly, we have cracked open the shield that is Japan's policy of isolation. This is a great coup for American diplomacy and influence of the Far East. I think historically, like the last time I did this, like in HPM when I played as America, I actually had to go to wow, holy crap! I had to go to war with them and get them done, and actually lost the battle. Spoilers: I lost the battle, but we actually still got everything done. So, Jesus Christ, I forgot. I I think there's some people who want me to play as a heavenly kingdom in China. I think there's people who want me to play as China, just period. China sounds like a lot of fun, but I know it's going to be a big old pain in the rear end. Um, yeah. China China is extremely good at killing itself, so. Yeah, wow. War of the Pacific. Oh, and also, I, we ended off last time still at war with, like, Chile and stuff. I just peace out. I just use console commands, because I don't want to be, deal with that, because I should have read that, but whatever. I don't want to deal with that, so. Wait. Audit North? Um... The Ottoman Empire acquires, acquires all states with core provinces. Oh, Egypt. Russian War of Ottoman... Freedom? Uh... Ottomans? What's going on here? You got rebels? Okay, well, it is 57, so this video is probably not going to be super long, as you can tell. Oh, and these guys are killing each other. So, we've got some comms to go through. Abyssinia. Oh, I'd like to take them out, too, but... Oh, they're already in someone else's sphere, which is not good. We've got to get a lot of these people into our own sphere, but we'll... That'll happen eventually. Um, okay, so a couple comments. Someone recommends we take all of North America. Someone recommends we take all of the world. And people also recommend we take out Canada and Greenland. Greenland, we can probably do eventually. We'll take out, hopefully, a massive amount of Canada. Massive amount of Greenland, Iceland. We'll just see what happens. Okay, so really, in the end goal of this campaign, it's for me to take out probably Greenland, Canada, as much of the America as, po as possible. We'll see what happens, just because we're not going to be playing as the USA the entire time, obviously. Which is... The next video after this is probably going to be the CSA, whatever you know what it is. Um, so, yeah, we'll get there eventually. But if we do want to go to war with somebody, we could probably do it against someone else. Um, we're probably trying to influence these guys. Is anyone trying to influence these people? Uh, blue fields, huh? That's still part of the UK anyways, right? Yeah, so that makes sense. Honduras? We have enough infamy for this. And we just got Japan kind of, like, influence and such. So, they're in our sphere, so... Thank you. If we're going to go to war with somebody, hopefully before... A uh, you know, a small little war will break out. Uh, Venezuela, Colombia. Can I go to war with Colombia? But there's only Bolivia. They're really not that strong at all. Um, let's see how long. Ooh. Dismant Dismant That's a new focus in I Blood and Iron mod. The Dismantle Industry. Dismantles factories and cancels all construction recruitments. Because of coding limitations, this CB only works with one country at a time. If you're going to add it for more than one country, then make sure to piece out separately. That's actually really cool. How much does this cost? That's not bad. You could actually seriously damage like Germany and the UK with that. That's not too bad. Make puppet. Um, that's not bad either. I don't mind. It's so much cheaper to get puppets, but that means you have to deal with rebellions and stuff. It's sometimes easier just to take them all out, but we can't do that quite here. Uh, acquire a place and set. You know what? Oh, wait, liberate and puppet. That's another one too. You can liberate and puppet an entire country from its oppressors, which I wish was in base game. But like normal, I think it's probably best if we go ahead. Oh, they like slavery down there too. If we. Actually, what was the colony state? Is this a colony state? That is. We want to take Panama. So, let's just go to war with these guys and beat the crap out of them if we can. It takes a long time to go to war with them, which I don't like. And 11 infamy, we can afford that for now. Um, if that's the case, we just send you guys over here. So, how about we send you back on the boat, you bunch of uh, Yankees. And we'll put you in uh, Cuba. Because that's not a bad place to be. 
We're trying to build up the rest of this army a little bit more. How are we doing with this up there? Are there any Yankee divisions we can make? Yes, there are. Not too bad. Um, hmm. Afro-American, too. Not bad. There you go. Uh, I'm not trying to hurt our soldiers too much here, especially because we're pre preparing for some stuff. But, uh, let's make them. And you guys, you just stay in Manassas for... Uh, stay in Fredericksburg. Denmark goes bankrupt. Alright. Not bad. Keep making some more money. We do want to go to war, but it's going to be a while before we go to war anyway, so... Let time go on. We cut down some of our infamy. The New York Times. Oh, Underground Railroad? Nope. Oh, well, the slavery debate. Nope. No talk about it. Hey, look at that. And now we got Washington. Did you know Washington was a slave state? We all know that here, right? We all knew that. We have a, a little bit of money, not a lot. Where are our national focuses too? So, uh, we're encouraging intellectuals here and in South Carolina. South Carolina is looking, it's getting better. Actually, North Carolina is quite lacking. And we're trying to get more bureaucrats here and Oklahoma as well as Montana. Which is very nice. And I should show you the, na I should try to show you the nationality every single time we play. So let's see, mostly just Dixie and African American with some, you know, Yankees as you saw. Uh, it's fairly Mexican in California, but honestly, there's not really that many people here. There's quite a few, and oh, down here, we got some Czech people assimilating Yankee, and some Dixie soldiers here too. Yankee. So I think the biggest I don't r remember for M52. Our primary culture is Yankee, but who are first class citizens, but Dixie and Texan are also tolerated. So does that mean Yankee is the primary culture with Dixie and Texan secondary cultures, which means that does Yankee get a boost to people assimilating to become Yankee? Because if that's the case, I can understand that to a degree, but like, Dixie is still a fairly prominent culture within the United States, at least at this time, so I don't know. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Because I'd like to see that, if, if that's the case, like I'd, I'd like to see maybe a little more of a balance people assimilating to become Dixie as well as Yankee. Maybe, maybe you know, Becoming more Yankee than Dixie, which makes more sense, but... That is to me. Maybe I'm just wrong. But, eh, it is what it is. Uh, what is this? Argentina? Sure. Rebel scum? What do you mean rebel scum? They're just fighting for the rights. To own other people. To property. And uh, what is this one? This is in Greenville, probably North Carolina. Yep, Greenville, North Carolina. Cool. State capitalism all the way, my friends. Alright, so they're down here in Cuba yet? Oh, no, they're still probably still traveling. Oh yeah, they're still traveling. Uh, I want to make sure that this place, Cuba, will never get taken over. So, yeah. There we go. There we go. Nice. Montana, thank you very much. Montana is a beautiful state. Absolutely beautiful. I went there once and it's just, mm, great, great state. And who, where is this? Nevada. And Northop Power Loom, nice. Now we're making some good money now. Not 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 too great, but we'll take it. And 99. And change your name. And this is Wyoming? Cool. Cool. Let's get we're just getting so close to this. And uh more liberal. Uh we'll do this one for a Saginaw. That's in that's up in uh Michigan. In 1854, Elisha Otis demonstrated the first passenger carrying elevator, an invention which would prove invaluable to, in the construction of modern multi-story buildings. Raise me up, Elisha. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Actually, so weird. And this is South Dakota, too. Um, whenever he gets, like, a bonus to, like, industry points, research points, industry points, research points, you, like, it, like, accelerates things by a little bit more, which is very weird to see, but, eh, it is all right. Bureaucrats, thank you. Are we here yet? Because we need to move our soldiers fast enough. Military is not too bad, especially since we're making some more of these divisions up here. Lots of irregulars. Oh, we got caught. But like I said before, I, I'm not really too concerned. And it looks... Oh. Arizona is a confederate. All right. The Republican Party is now ruling party. Democratic, Federalists. Oh, Republicans, huh? Well, if you split up the Democratic support base and split into different groups, what's going to happen, you know? Uh, shut it down? Yeah. Sure, why not? Hopefully we get this fleet here soon enough. Liberals declared victory, and the Republicans have won. Oh yeah, we have our soldiers down here too, which actually have some artillery, which is nice, actually. I mean, look at this. I just love this. I love this province probably the most. This is the most beautiful province that we have. Look at the extreme amount of different cultures we have here. Even 3% Dixie. That's really, co really cool. Czech, Dixie, Greek. The Greeks are becoming Southerners. I think that's awesome. 
Irish, North Italians, Platinans, Platinans, Polish people. I think that's great. I think that's just great. Cool. Enter marriage. Uh, immigration must be curtailed. Eh, it's Santo Domingo. It's, it's Santo Domingo. It's okay. Chile. And come up here and do priority. Let's see. Chile. We love Chile. Well, we might take these guys out directly, but I think just puppeting them might be better. I don't know. We'll see what happens. At least we'll get Panama. And these guys are. How close are we with the war justification? We're halfway done to go to war with Colombia, which is... Oh, there you go. Nice. Nah, guys, we're okay. My gosh, you guys take so long. Alright, so these guys should be getting done soon. The ghetto. Get more plurality. Actually, how much plurality do we have? Archaeological exhibition. And the North German Federation, a major archaeological exhibition is held. Finest artifacts and specular items are exposed, and it seems that it becomes a worldwide event. Our own scientists are shamed. Why don't we have something like this? We lose prestige, we get more research points. Nice. Actually, that's really good. Intermarriage? Where is this? All pops in alliance? Where's alliance? Is that Georgia or something? It is Nebraska. Um, there you go. So what? How much plurality do we have? Two thirds of the way done. That's not bad. Uh, where do we see plurality? Oh, it's over here. Oh, we have 100. percent It's already going up already. That's not too bad. Revanchism. Nice. Oh, uh, what other events do we have down here? Uh, I. Last time I went to Fort Wayne. All right, so you guys finally made it. My goodness, you guys took so long. And then, let the month go by, and then we're going to throw you guys on the boat. Hey, machine parts! That'll be really nice to get, actually. We let the month go by, and then, there you go. Uh, leave them be. Knights of the Golden Circle. Ah, they seem like fine chaps. Shanti, cool. How unfortunate. Nagito tragedy. The girl from Rockford, or Rockland, or whatever it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Cool. We're at 6 Great Power. I wonder if we'll drop out of Great Power status once the, the war starts, but eh, we'll see. Head on down here. Enter marriage. What is this? Providence? There. We already have enough of that. So, ooh, yes. Idaho. Yes, good. Cool. And let's go ahead and increase relations with two Sicilies, because we can. And Bavaria. That's going to be bad for Germany, but that's fine. We're not Germany, so we're not really concerned about it too much. All right. So what do we have here? You guys are still doing okay. You guys are still working on that stuff. There you go. Get some more roads, because we could use some roads over there. Intellectuals are now at what percentage? Charlotte? It's been so long since I've been there. South Carolina? 1.4%. Not bad. And what is the budget like? How are we doing? I want to lower the taxes on the middle class just a little bit. They could probably use a little bit more money right now. Abolitionists? Yes. Get them down there. And we'll go to war in about a month, once our guys are done. All right. Suppress the society. I don't really want to read that one. Um, let's come over here. To our knights. Cool. Immigration riots. Ah, uh, you must listen to them. And now we'll head on out. And let's boost it up a little more because we want to make sure we do well and get on the boats. Which I should have waited for an entire month for that, but whatever. Three, two, one. I don't want. I want to do this before 1860, so. And actually, before we do that, just to make sure, they're not in anyone's sphere. No, they're not. That's good. Cool. Acquire state, Panama. Thank you. Do we have any allies? Uh, everyone will accept, except for Ecuador and Paraguay. Eh, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, we're at war with Bolivia. I don't really care about Bolivia, to be honest. To all knights, this is Nashville. Very, very cool. And you know what? We can probably go all the way down to zero. What do we go all the way down to zero? We're going to lose a lot of money, for sure, but would that make our people maybe a little wealthier? Can we actually pay for this stuff? Um, I don't want to do that just because that might build up roads and places I don't want it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We can't build up these factories anymore, but can we subsidize some of these? We probably can. Ooh, North Carolina? Yeah, do that one. There you go. Ohio, Pennsylvania, Ur Uruguay. Oh yeah, that's good too. Well, we can't build anything here, but whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Cool. And we got one thing here. What is this? Venez Venezuela, maybe? Yes, it is. Nope. Oops, I clicked actually really, really fast. My bad. But not really my bad. Whatever. Chile. Sure. Suppress them. There you go. Send the irregulars down here. 
rebellion and her ally, the Mexican government is called, been occupied, and the rebels blame American influence as one of the primary causes of the old regime's corruption. We've lost our influence as Mexico as a result, and the only question that remains is whether we should press our claims by force. They're not worth it. Press our claims. Lose prestige. Let's lose prestige. I'm thinking long term. Okay, so what happened here? The Mexican military coup. All right. New political party, the Constitutional Union Party. All right. Actually, who are they? Who cares? Let's look at this first. We got schools. We did schools last time, so let's get, get, get some health care. Yeah, let's get some health care. Wow, we're really liberal here now. Holy crap. All right. And a Republican Constitutional Union Party is conservative. And they believe in laissez-faire, anti-military, anti compared to the Democrats who are, Democrats who are jingoistic, limited citizenship, limited citizenship. They both believe in moralism. They're almost exactly the same, they prefer, but they believe in protectionism and anti-military, while they, the Democratic Party believes in free trade and jingoism. Huh. Well, okay. Why is this place called David? I'd, I'd like to know that. Hopefully the Civil War doesn't start when we're at war ourselves, but Paraguay? You're gonna get influence whether you like it or not, son. Oh, they mobilized. But we haven't fought a war yet. Cool. Well, you got him. We need a port for our ships. Biologism is really good to get, though. Actually, all getting all the text done is just really good. Next, we'll go in circle, leave them be. And where are we at with this? I thought we'd go to Japan and actually have to do stuff there, but whatever, it's fine. Nice. Just some casual suppression for everybody. You know it's okay. Interesting. Oh, what is this? New England Immigrant Aid Company? The balance of power between free staters and border ruffians and the territories has repercussions for the entire union. To advance the abolitionist cause, an immigrant uh, aid company is open in New England to help bring in abolitionist free states to settle in the territories. We can expect a heavy increase in free stater settlements in the future. Oh, wow. That is really trying to force your way with the beliefs, huh? All right. Well, whatever. Clean coal. Let's do this one. Supply limit and organic chemistry is usually very good to do so. What's going on here? Oh, that's a very weird alliance. Discredited them. Discredited them. Well, that's nice. UK. No, let's do two Sicilies. Actually, let's decrease relations because we can. I'm totally not sabotaging things here. Bragging rights. So, yeah, I get the prestige. This prestige is necessary. Even though, actually, at this point, we should probably stop doing good things for America. Totally not trying to sabotage things here. Totally not. Medellin. Actually, where is the other Union Army? I thought we had three. Uh, there's you guys. Oh, you're over there. First Army of New York. Let's come on down to there-ish. We might want to send you overseas. Just saying. Idaho? Idaho? Idaho. Nice. There you go. That's the last one there. Welcome home, countrymen. Nice. Just walk. Please just walk. Because we got to get these guys over to Tampa as well. Got plenty of money. Build up the naval bases just in case, because we're going to need to. Laredo, get some forts in Texas. That'd be nice. Get some more roads and forts just in case. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Get some more roads as well. Tuscaloosa. Georgia. Ah, Charleston needs a bigger port. Tennessee, I don't think you can get really get a port, but that's just me, maybe. And Virginia. Nope, that's alright. Get some forces up there too, cool. Shut it down. Because of all this, we're becoming very liberal in certain areas of the country. And they're still moving over there, which is fine. Cool. Go for the capital. At this point, let's head on back up, because they should be up there within a month, maybe-ish. Now we're losing quite a bit of money. Oh well. So, when do they want to peace out? Actually, Colombia. Can we actually add a war goal? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll take some extra money. Let's do two our knights. It's from Santo Domingo. Okay, this is almost 1860, man. It's almost, we're almost there. Tunja? They're almost there, look at that. Nice. Come on, and... Cool. Actually, I wonder if we could just, hmm. How much would it cost to acquire another state or place in the sun? Let's do acquire a state. How much? 11. Well, we do have the infamy reduction for it because I did, you know, edit the save file, but. Um. Hmm. There's Panama. Antioquia. Let's 
Screw it. We could do it, right? No, oh, we cannot. That sucks. Peter Mont War of Sicilian Freedom, huh? Guatemala. Guatemala. Hello. Totally not sabotaging things. Totally not. Cool. Oh, we actually got, what is this? Max life rating? Mission still has? Oh, that's really good. We have more important things to discuss. Oh boy, this is a special decade for us. Oh, what is this one? Local native groups are raiding our settlements in Lubbock. Well, that's not good. Fire eaters, all right. Man, we got so many events every single day. It's kind of insane. Hey, the Italians founded socialism. Karl Marx sounds very Italian here. Tuscany, huh? No. I said I want more. Okay, I actually get some more. Can we humiliate them? No, we can't do any of this stuff, can we? No, it kind of sucks. All right, well, whatever. Uh, oh, they want. Oh, they want La Paz. Oh, oh, they've been doing some serious stuff around here, huh? Bolivia. Uh, if they let it go on, we actually might be able to get more stuff for our ally. I'm kind of okay with that then. And I'm back up there. And you guys, Pittsburgh. Actually, can we build any more divisions? Probably not. Actually, Yankees. Well, we're okay for now, I guess. Actually, you know what? Build it up. Why not? There you go. Totally not going to sabotage anything here. And new political party, the Working Men's Party. That's probably the Socialist Party. I don't even want to read that one. We already did each side enough time, so there you go. As you can see, it's just popping up every single time. Where is this? Ro Romance and Shreveport. There you go. Uh, are you good on attack? Yes, you are very good on attack. Wow. Plus four. That's kind of rare. Jesus Christ. We even really do that much... We only did one naval tech so far. We killed off 13,000 of them. Nope. Ghetto? I'm not sure we can really be bothered with that, but whatever. Bolivia, how are we doing down here? Are we doing it any better yet? Uh, what if we just peace out with all these guys? Oh, look at that. Oh, the French are fighting all these guys. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Um, acquired Panama. That is quite a bit. Would they accept that? No. 83 war score. They still wouldn't accept that. That's a, that's a lot of peace offer, huh? Copperhead's cool. And this was in Baltimore. To our knights. Eh, we can suppress them finally. That's fine. Oh, what is this? Transvaal, huh? I want to really play as the Boers sometime in Vicky 2, but I, it's, I've heard it's extremely difficult. And we can deport it? There you go. Oh, where is this one? Fredericksburg? Nope. Tensions dissipate. Leave them be. Man, there's got to be a lot of consciousness here. Hey, they died. Hey, they got rebels too. Look at that. Nice. I do apologize. I guess technically, just because I'm, I'm sabotaging ourselves basically right now for this, so. Uh, uh, copper heads, there you go. What is that? Nothing there? Cool. Shut it down. Didn't plan on doing this, but that's alright. We're really hurting the population for these groups here. Uh, we're almost 100%. They would not accept that, but would these guys accept this? That's still 97. Peace offers 112. They would accept this, but they would not accept that. Well, I don't think we're going to get any of this stuff, really. <sighs> Proposal. Yeah, that's over 100. God dang it. Well, I should have just done this one. There you go. There you go. Oh, wait, can we just... Oh, okay, we can do Colorado. Okay, that's cool. Nice. There you go. All right, everyone. So, we've actually traveled back in time because something came up to my attention. So, I will go back to World of Columbia off screen to where we left off just right now, but... All right, so apparently, when we ended the war with Mexico in the last episode, 
We were a Republican or a Whig party. We were the Liberal Party. Right now, though, apparently, <clears throat> if we're the Democratic Party, we still get the same decision with the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, but we could do that, or we could do the Valley of the Kings. Once again, we'll, so we'll do that one. That's pretty normal. Excellent. Thank you very much. And uh, we actually get the option to annex all of Mexico because with Mexico with us, we can just go ahead and annex them all, which is much better than this one, actually. So, uh, what happens if we do that one, actually? And I want to see what this one does. The breadth of our success in the war against Mexico puts us in a position to annex Mexico as a whole. This would undoubtedly lead to resentment both at home and abroad. So, we have no infamy right now. So, just because I want to see what happens. This is one of the unique things about Blood and Iron when he plays America and take over all of Mexico. So, we got more than 90% of other places. And we take 25 infamy. So, that's the reason why we got rid of the infamy debuff, which I wasn't aware of before. And actually, I spent about an hour off screen trying to get this fixed. I've had like five elections every time the Whigs or the Republican Party won up until this last time where they actually had a scandal during the election, which was actually really good for us. So, uh, we gained 25 infamy. We inherit Mexico. No longer be enemies. So, I did want to see this because this is a very, very unique thing. So, wow. Wow, just... Okay. And we have the Wilmot Proviso again, of course. So we'll do that. Nice. And we'll do Commodore Perry's Expedition, which we'll see what happens. Uh, actually, let's wait a little bit. We got a little bit too much infamy, but... Jesus, I love Blood and Iron, but I'll see you in just a little bit. Well, actually, not just yet, because with all of the stuff that's going on, um, I've actually gone, had gotten back to low healthcare, as well as an acceptable school system. So, acceptable healthcare. And I'll make sure everything's fixed up and nice, and we will be taking back parts of Columbia. So I'll see you once again in just a little bit. All right, everyone, finally, now this is important. We got John Brown's last raid. John Brown's body lies a moldering in the grave, but his soul is marching on. John Brown's body, a union marching song. The famed hero of the abolitionist movement, the late John Brown, was hanged in Charlestown, Virginia, today after a failed raid on a military armory, supposedly. Brown had planned to use the arsenal's weapons to arm slaves and incite an open slave rebellion across the entire South. That raid. And John Brown's death have further escalated Southern tensions over the sl slavery issue. And in some slave states, there is now even talk of secession from the Union, which is extremely important for us because that is one of the things that you need to have the American Civil War spawn and fire off. So, um, But yeah, with the, without Mexico here, God, we should have done this in real life, I'll be honest. This looks so, just so much blue. For, uh, blue's my favorite color. And this is just, just oh, it's so beautiful. I'm sorry. I just, mmm, mmm. I said the last episode was Maximum Manifest Destiny. Well, we've finally achieved those dreams here, so. It's just, oh God, I love America so much. All right, anyways. Um, get more, um, right now, what we're gonna try to do is try to get as much consciousness as possible, because it's still 9.41, so it should fire relatively soon-ish. So if you wanna read about these, please go ahead, just because I wanna get through this. Uh, get more consciousness, that'd be good. I want as much consciousness as possible. A house divided. It actually were fired, cool. All right then, so let's read this. A house divided against itself cannot stand. I believe this government cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. I do not expect the union to be dissolved. I do not expect the house to fall, but I do expect it will cease to be divided. It will be one, become all one thing or all the other, said Abraham Lincoln. It is over all attempts at compromise, the efforts of decades of public discourse on the issue of slavery have failed. This morning, the congressmen from the southern states resigned their offices, and the slave states declared secession from the perpetual union. The states of Missouri and Maryland, along with the western part of Virginia, have declared themselves for the union, and D.C. is under the control of union troops. A southern wind blows hard on a house divided. Three rousing cheers for the union advance the flag of Dixie. Hurrah! Oh, I can't wait, baby. I can't wait to play this. But we got to save this for the next episode because this is the end of the campaign for the United States of America and Blood and Iron, which I think we've done quite well. But before we end it, let's look on one of these because we can always come. I can always come back to the save. Actually, if I'll show you my save games here, here. As you can see, I saved the game quite a lot before. So, um, yeah. So before we end this campaign here and move on to <clears throat> a new campaign, one where we truly believe in states' rights. Uh, uh, as much as I want to do that one, let's click and see what the. Oh my. Well, this might be the same th way when we play as a CSA, but holy crap. So, at least for this part. Um, oh, look at that. Oh, they actually have three units there, huh? Army of the South. Well, New England makes sense. Indiana, Illinois, and Ohio makes sense. Uh, Texas and Oklahoma don't, but we got all the West Coast. 
But, hey, I guess it is what it is, and we still have, or I guess the Union still has this, so. Alright then, but I hope you enjoyed this shortish campaign. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we start and begin another campaign as good old Confederates. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.